During years, I've tried to avoid uh, being a painter. To me, being a painter uh, today was uh, the idea to be poor all your life long. As uh, any young man, I wanted to have fancy cars, girls, not living poor. But it was an obsession for me, very influenced by my great-grandfather. So in the house of my grandmother, there was a huge canvas of this guy, a painter, a symbolist painter from the 19th century. And I was so impressed by that when I was eight that I have only one idea in my in mind. To be one day an artist and a painter. You can't escape your faith. So you are a painter. So I did it. I paint now animals because I don't want to paint human being anymore. One day, uh, I have an exhibition in a, a prestigious gallery in Paris. We spread something like 30 portraits. And uh, at the end of the exhibition, the art dealer uh, came to me and said, okay, Thierry, it's not a total flop because we sold the dog, so please do me another one. And after two months, we have sold something like 12 or 15 dogs and no portraits. At the end, he told me, Terry, I think you have something to do with animals. And it starts with that, uh, that kind of thing, like the walls of a cave, of a prehistoric cave, because my painting is a very primitive. So I use things that are very, very basic. Pigment, pure pigment, glue, charcoal, uh, nothing sophisticated, but it remains uh, realistic. It's a very dirty job because you you breathe that, that powder of pigment, but the prehistoric painters did the same. The only advice I could give to anyone, not for an art, not only for artists, but for everyone, is to have the obsession of staying himself or herself, the obsession of being you and not to try to do something that is not you. But generally people, they have uh, their strong way to see and make things, won't ask me any advice. They don't need it.